What is Poppin' Space Academy? It's your boy TC, and we are back with the news. And I am here with... The one and only Telemune. Yes, sir. Let's jump right into it. So now we have some news from the President Yastrata, famously known as Focalistic, as he will be reaching new heights by having his first ever one-man show right here in Centurion at Supersport Park Stadium on the 10th of June. Are you looking forward to that? I think that's going to be really, really crazy. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Definitely going to come out there and show some love. So definitely pull up, get your tickets. You know what I'm saying? Let's show some love. Let's support the president. Eh? Super proud of Foka, though, by yes, the way. Sir, yes, he sir. made it all this way. Exactly. Yeah. President Estrada Kanni. The first ever Cotton Fest Durban will take place on Sunday, the 2nd of July at Kings Park Stadium, mm. Outer Field. Definitely, definitely big news. I'm very excited for that, man. They're definitely branching out, you know. Now they have a cotton fest in Durban, in Cape Town, right here in our city as well. Now, the early bird tickets sold out almost immediately, but you can still get your phase two tickets. So make sure to get that, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to be tapped in. I don't think they've dropped the lineup as of yet, so I'm very excited to see who's going to be performing there, and I'm looking forward to it, you know? But it is also very exciting to see that Ricky Rick's legacy continues definitely. to live on. Definitely. So big ups to the whole team, man. Let's run. Now for some music news. Ray Shremit have officially dropped their fourth studio album titled Shrem for Life. Now, the TikTok dancers have been going crazy. Um, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it. I've been saving it. You know, I'm still going to hop onto it. Have you checked it out yet? Or? I am excited. I am excited to check out their, new, their latest work, yes. Yeah, that's going to be really fire, man. Uh, Lotonova Pounds also dropped the Sosh Plata remix music video featuring 25K and Tapelo Gutra. So make sure to check that out. The visuals are so, so clean, man. I really, really enjoyed that video. So yeah, make sure to check that out. Lil Yadi also finally dropped the visuals for the much anticipated song Holster. You know, mm. the visuals are also very, very clean. And if you're interested in seeing the behind the scenes of that whole video, make sure to check out the Lyrical Lemonade 2 um, YouTube channel and then you can have a look what was going on right there. Singing competition and guessing game, The Masked Singer South Africa will premiere on S3, previously known as SABC3, mm. in June. Yeah. Comedian and actor Mpo Pops will host the show where celebrities perform and a panel of detectives, Jay Something, Somizi Mklongo, Sitelo Shozi, and Skumba Shope will try to guess their identities. Very, very interesting. I don't think we've had something like this before. Very interesting concept. I like how the singers will be wearing masks and then you have to guess who will be singing, you know. So I'm very excited to see what's going to come from this, you know. Yeah, there are a lot of competitions that are coming to South Africa for the first time. Yeah. And that is exciting. Make sure to tap in. Now, this past weekend was the UFC middleweight main event with Israel Adesanya, who won against Alex Pereira with a TKO. Now, this was big for Adesanya as... He lost the previous three matches against Pereira. And I went on Twitter, actually, and I saw a whole lot of controversy um, around the win, right? Because Adesanya basically mocked uh, Pereira's son in the crowd by faking um, a knockout. And this was because in the previous match where Pereira won the fight, um, his son won um, stepped into the ring as well and then imitated that very same knockout. So he was basically mocking him. So... I don't know. People are saying it's very childish of Adesanya, you know. Um, I think, hey, man, if, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. You know, that basically made him feel kind of snucks, you know. He said mm. in an interview that it didn't sit with him well. And now he came back with a little bit of revenge, you know. But at least he managed to find some humor in the whole situation. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So big ups to Adesanya on that win, man. Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and Monica Rambeau team up for the first trailer for The Marvels. Mm. The Marvels is scheduled to be released on November 10th, 2023, as part of Phase 5 of the MCU. Yes, sir. I am very excited for Phase 5. I'm also very excited for this film, you know, with the um, leading female roles. Um, I think it's going to be really exciting. Phase 5 is just going to be crazy, man. We're going to get a whole lot of new films, a whole lot of new characters being introduced in the universe as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And this has been Space Impact News, man. Catch us here same time, same place next week, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on the post notification. It's your boy TC and I am here with... The one and only Telemune. Yes, sir. And we are out.